case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for in 1857 the supreme court of the united states heard the case of jackson v steamboat magnolia which delved into the issue of federal courts having power over admiralty and maritime cases as well as the jurisdiction of any waterway used for commerce or transportation between states or nations. The lawsuit began when the steamboat Wetumpka, traveling from New Orleans to Montgomery, collided with and sank due to the steamboat Magnolia on the Alabama River. The district court initially dismissed the libel for lack of jurisdiction. However, the Supreme Court ultimately ruled that the district court has the authority to preside over cases involving navigable waters and vessels, regardless of tide. This decision was based on the fact that the Alabama River is a public river that supports coasting trade and foreign commerce to ports within the state, offering access to seagoing vessels. The court concluded that the district court has exclusive jurisdiction over such cases under the Constitution and the Judiciary Act of 1789. The court's ruling affirmed that district courts have admiralty jurisdiction over navigable waters and vessels, irrespective of tide. Congress was recognized as having the power to establish courts and determine jurisdiction, including admiralty jurisdiction over navigable waters and vessels. As a result, the steamboat Magnolia was found liable for the injury caused to the Wetumpka, and the case was protected by admiralty law. Federal courts were granted jurisdiction over specified common law and chancery cases, and state jurisdiction was declared to have unconditionally surrendered to the Union. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.